Hello, hello. Happy Easter. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Hello, Elizabeth. Ladies, thank you so very much for joining. I'm going to give the room just a minute to build. Happy Easter, Regina. Hi, Ems. Hi, Phenomenal Personality. Happy Easter, Lucinda. Delise, welcome. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. I'm going to slaughter it. Wait a minute. Is that Fee? I don't think that's Fee. It flashed and I lost it. Samaria. Hi, Sauce. Hello, Ingrid. Hi, Mrs. Q. Happy Easter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies, for joining. If you would, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I am so appreciative that you decided to spend a little bit of your Easter Sunday with me. Hello, Rosalind. Um, happy Easter. Um, so I'm not going to keep you long because there's some other things that I want to be able to do this evening. But I do want to start with a question because I know some of you are working from home or maybe... Um, are not considered um, essential. So maybe you've got a little bit of time on your hands. If you have Hulu, I'm just going to throw it out again. If you were not watching Carrie Washington and Reese Witherspoon in Little Fires Everywhere, you are missing out. It is complete. Um, it's definitely um, chick flick worthy. It is, I think this week was the fifth episode, and let me tell you, my mind, it was just like pieces of the puzzle started to unfold, and I'm like, okay, where do we go from here? So, um, I think Rosalind started watching it. I actually just got off the phone a couple minutes ago with my mom, and she's like, hey, listen, I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes more, but I want you to know I'm watching that show you told me about on Hulu, and I was like, what show? Because I told her about a, a couple of shows and she said the one about the little fires. And I said, okay, I'm going to let you go so that you can watch it. It is good. It is binge worthy. It's a new series. And I think we this was um, the fifth episode. It's on Hulu, Regina. I think this was the fifth episode. Rosalind, wasn't this week five? Because they did three. Maybe it was week six. Because they did four. Three episodes when it first launched. Um, but anyway, it won't take you long to get caught up. I highly, highly recommend it. Reese Witherspoon, Carrie Washington. It's on Hulu. Um, it's called Little Fires Everywhere. And I believe it's um, the new um, uh, the new episode launches. I think it's on Wednesday. I think that's on Wednesday. All right. So I was having this conversation with DJ King about the 30% off sale on ILD and um, whether or not there was anything on the site that was worthy of the trigger being pulled, whether there were colors or leathers or styles or prints or sizes and for the most part, it came up empty. But in that conversation with her, she let me know that, and if you may have seen it already on my community post from earlier this week, that the newly released Cabriolet Medium Russell is included in the 30% off. So just a week ago, two weeks ago, I was sharing with you that that bag was available and it was 201 on both Dooney or .com and ILD. And, okay, no problem, Mrs. Q, um, that it was available on both sites for the same price. But if, if you picked it up from .com, you have the option of the four Dooney pay, which is, the op which is a, an option um, right now. So... With the 30% off, if my math is correct, it goes to $140 and like 70 cents, I think. It was, po I posted it on uh, my community page. So if you're not following me there, 
Um, then I've tried to post something every day um, over the last couple of weeks. Every once in a while, I might skip a day. But for the most part, if I'm not posting a video, I'm posting something over there. Um, so I asked her if she was going to pick it up. I also had this conversation with Candy Crusher. And um, Rosalind, I can't remember now whether we had this conversation about Russell or not. I think we were talking about skincare and a couple of other things. Um, but in that conversation, what I realized is that not everyone has Cabriolet in their collection. Not everyone is comfortable. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed the Regina. <laughs> um, I, I realized that not everyone has um, Cabriolet in their collection. Not everyone is comfortable with nylon, although that's my go-to right now. And, and even um, during this time of year, I have a tendency to kind of gravitate towards lighter bags, like lighter materials um, to carry, just because everything else is so hot and so cumbersome and stuff starts to get sticky and you start sweating places that shouldn't have, you know, moisture. Um, so I just have a tendency anyway to switch to um, my nylon bags. But I wanted to kind of do a quick um, refresh of your memory of a bag that I have had in my collection for a very long time. It was on ILD maybe three years ago it reappeared. I talked about it then, I'm sure, um, but I didn't need to pick up another one because I still had one in my collection. But it's Cabriolet, and I thought that I would kind of give you an up-close and personal look at Cabriolet so that you could make a decision about the medium Russell in Cabriolet because a $140 price point for that size bag, if you like a larger bag, if you are into like the size of the Neverfulls, if for like for me, um, the Florentine Russell was way too heavy for me for travel and it just kind of got clunky because I was in a coat and scarf and gloves and I still had my backpack for work. So it just, it ended up not being a comfortable carry. So I thought if I can get a lighter weight version of a large bag, maybe that will help because it won't have so much weight. So if you're a never full, if you like a tote like um, the gallery tote or like the market tote from Coach or some of those others, if you have enjoyed like the size of the logo lock tote, lock aside, y'all know I, I don't particularly care for that lock. If you are a leisure shopper, um, almost, if, if you like the large version even of Ashton or Greta, this might be something that while you have time to take another look at it. So the bag that I want to show you is the Cabriolet Brooklawn Tote. This is the large and I love this bag and no, she didn't come like this. This is all of her love marks from me using her and wearing her out. And yes, I will still carry her. Matter of fact, she may get moved into because she's just as easy to clean as nylon, maybe even more so. Now I will tell you, she's a little dirty now. So, but this is this is after several seasons of use, and I could just take a damp, um, warm cloth and get those cleaned up and I imagine that that is exactly what I am going to do so cabriolet if you think about um like a cotton canvas or the top of a convertible or um like an old school baby bag. I'm trying to think of other things that may have been in this. 
Um, if you've seen the Captiva collection for like the cosmetic uh, bags or if you have seen the Weekenders in the Cabriolet, it is the exact same thing. You can not kill Cabriolet. You can't kill it. Um, the, the Russell version does not have a leather bottom like the Brooklawn tote does, but it does have the leather straps. Strap drop is not any different than the regular Russell. It also has an outside pocket organization in the interior. The only issue that I have with the Cabriolet version is if my memory serves me correctly, it has that new light textile with like the blue stripe in it. And to me that is it's just cheap. It, but it's on the inside of the bag. But I think it's going to show wear and dirt and just, I, I just, I, I'm a little bit partial to Dooney's classic gingham linings as well as the red twill lining. Those are just um, my favorites. I did finally kind of fall in love with the zebra stripe one from a few summers ago when they did that one. Remember the zebra stripe gum? They did a lining in that, and I did finally fall in love with that. Or any of the other, including the pink, dare I say pink. Um, but I just prefer it because it is it's a quality textile. It's a little bit thicker. I think it'll serve um, for uh, uh, well as the lining of a bag, but not so much this latest textile that they have in there. Um, Brooklawn is not available, but in case it pops back up on ILD, let me just kind of show you. It is a big tote. And I probably need to dust the bottom of her out. I do. But it's my bag, not yours. And I'm not selling her, so we don't have to worry about whether or not she's clean on the inside or the outside or whether she has scratches on her butt or not. It's, it's, amazing but so this is the red cabriolet and i wanted you to be able to see the navy cabriolet up close as well so that you could see that it is a true blue it is a darker blue but it is a dark navy um dj king and i had the conversation she wanted to know whether or not navy was going to truly look like a blue or whether it was going to be black now, on this particular bag, it has leather on each side of the navy. So I think that helps with the contrast so that you can actually tell that it's navy. But I do believe that it's still going to be a true navy color. And I can say that because I have a Captiva cosmetic in navy. I have a Weekender in navy in Cabriolet. I also got my very, my birthday bag a few years back was the Newport Executive Tote in Cabriolet. All of them are, are absolutely gar, gar, um, tongue tied, gorgeous colors of navy. So if you have questions about whether or not it's going to look black or midnight versus whether or not it's going to look like a true blue, I would say that it is going to look more true blue. So, um, the colors, if I can remember them, black, I'm on the fence about black. There's something telling me that I need to get the black. I'm on the fence really bad about the khaki color. They, I don't know why that is speaking to me because it is going to show all kinds of dirt if you don't take care of it. Um, the white is absolutely stunning, but I would just be setting myself up for um, failure unless as soon as I took it out the box I was like scotch guarding it that might actually help so I may need to go back and reconsider the white and then there is red cabriolet and navy so those are the ones that are available and at the 140 price point you can not beat it so I've got my black one here because it keeps reappearing um, as a prop but just from a size standpoint, not that you can get this one, but just a reminder of what the size is like. I also had, I don't know if I posted.
posted them on Instagram this week because I posted a lot this week on Instagram. I have some pictures just kind of side by side of Brooklawn with um, Russell just so that you can kind of get a feel for the size. But quite honestly, I think that the, the, the rebirth of Russell has been around now as of late enough that most people have a feel for the size and whether or not it is going to be too large. Listen, the dimensions of the Cabriolet are the same dimensions of the Florentine. I'm just going to beg of you to please shop your bag weight class. So if you are not a big bag girl, leave Cabriolet Russell alone. If you aren't planning to use her as a work bag or as a travel bag and you normally carry smaller bags, this is not a bag for you to experiment. Don't order it and have somebody else to have to deal with your return. Don't get it and, and then say, oh my God, it's a big bag. Yes, it's a big bag. It's the GM never full size. It's the large leisure shopper size. It's the large Greta um, size. It's the size of the large um, logo lock. It's the size of Tilly. If those are bags you don't have in your collection or you've seen them and thought, oh my goodness, a small family could live in this bag, then this in any material is not going to be for you. If the shoulder drop is an absolute deal breaker for you, then skip this bag because it does have a shorter shoulder drop, which is my one and only complaint well two complaints um uh, the shoulder drop and the fact that it doesn't have a zipper top so they were going to bring that bag back and and remake it the way that random ashton and greta showed up with a zipper top um then i feel like that's what they should have done with the cabriolet one because it would probably be sold out right now if you have a, a senior graduating high school and i know that's a little up in the air right now but a senior graduating High school, if you have a senior in your family graduating college that's going to need a work bag or a commuter bag or a gym bag, if you have somebody that's expecting a little one and they're going to need a baby bag, that, that would be perfect baby bag material. And then when baby has moved on to other things, mom would still be able to use it and have a gorgeous bag that is just not going to show um, a ton of wear and tear something that she can easily keep clean. Um, I would also recommend it if you are in real estate, if you are a teacher, um, if you are uh, a physician or nurse or a social worker, um, a professor, anyone that has to carry a lot of stuff back and forth. If you are at home right now or still going into the office, but you are you know, a leader of a team or you carry your laptop back and forth to work, the Cabriolet version of this bag will absolutely be a much lighter carry. So by the time you add your stuff in, yes, it's still going to be a heavy bag, but that's the quality of Dooney. Um, but it won't start out three pounds heavy and empty like the Florentine version. So I'll leave that there. All right. So <clears throat> I am going to really quick because I know some of you have been asking on Instagram for the answers to, and then I, I do have, um, I'm not going to call it an unboxing. I'm going to call it a reveal because boxes are getting cast to the trash at the door um, around here now. But um, I want to share with you a couple of items, nothing new, but I am... Um, purging boxes at the door for anything that's coming in um, but I want to share these with you and then we're gonna we're gonna cut it off like because I still want to kind of do some beauty stuff maybe tonight but what I want to do is some of you may not be on Instagram so you missed out on these but um I want to share them because I did hear that people are like sharing them outside of the Instagram space, whether it's with family, church members, work groups, daily challenges, those kinds of things. So I want to make sure that you all have those answers so that you can go back and either send them out so that you now have the answer or so that you can close out with your uh, respective groups. So the first one... Uh, let me 
see. I have them posted on here. I thought I did. Okay. So, there was one where we had to pick your tropical drink name based on letters. Mine ended up being, oh, so you pick it by the first letter of your first name and then your month of birth. So my uh, tropical drink name is a sloppy tidal wave. Some of you had some very interesting, <laughs> very, very interesting drink names. But they were fun to read and even more fun to respond to. All right. There was another one on sheltering in place, um, coping levels measured in cartoon bears. So I'm going to go through them really quick and you're going to, in the chat, let me know whether you're a level one, two, three, or four for those of you that didn't participate over on Instagram. So level one would be the Bernstein Bears. Fully clothed, the family unit is all together, following societal rules and standards, still being followed, practiced, and respected. So level one, Bernstein, fully clothed, family unit all together, societal rules and standards are still being followed, practiced, and respected. So if you are a level one um, type, either level one or, or, or Bernstein, in the comments. Level two is Pooh, and that's me. I'm, I'm a proud Pooh. Pooh is t-shirt, no pants. I got on a dress today, so pants were not necessary. Um, but level two is Pooh, t-shirt and no pants, mostly alone, eating entirely too many sweets, but happy in your blissful ignorance. That's got to me. I'm a level two Pooh. Level three is a yogi, and yogi is naked except for a hat and a tie, surviving off whatever food you can steal. Only companion is smaller nude person in a bow tie. Oh. <laughs> All right, and the last one is level four. It's the Charmin, like the toilet tissue bears, Charmin. So Charmin is completely nude, surrounded by others who are also completely nude, obsessed with toilet paper. <laughs> Some of y'all are obsessed with toilet paper. Glad I haven't had to go scavenge for toilet paper. But level one, Bernstein Bears, whole families together. Y'all are following the rules, sheltering in place. Nobody's killed each other and hit a body in the backyard. Level two, poo is t-shirt no pants because you're at home these are the people like that you spend time and space with so it's poo and you're just eating way too much level three is yogi naked except for a hat and a tie surviving on whatever food you can steal and there's a smaller nude person running around the house with you in a bow tie and level four completely nude surrounded by other naked people obsessed with toilet paper I'm a poo. All right. So let me see. Do we are is there anybody else that's a poo out here? <laughs> Suz is also a poo. Ingrid is a poo. I love my poos. Shirley is a poo. Okay. See, I'm not, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Regina's a, a level one. So she's got everybody with her and they're sheltered in place and doing all the things that they're supposed to do. All right. Um, then the next one, we actually made an 80s mixtape and everybody had to add a song that was from the 80s. And we have, I think it's about 60, close to 60 songs on our 80s mixtape. So I'm going to run through a few, but I'd like to see the ones that you add um, as you, at, um, as we build, a, a, an 80s tape on here. So mine was Prince 1984 when doves cry. Um, we had, I'm looking for a new love by Jody Watley. Everybody have fun, to, fun tonight. Um, we have died in your arms. 
Um, there's one by Al B. Shore. What's the, um, there's Celebration on here by Cool in the Gang. Uh, Ladies Night, Cool in the Gang. Purple Rain, because that was all on one epic Prince um, album. Um, Ain't Nobody, 1983 Rufus. I Want to Dance with Somebody, Whitney Houston. Um, we have a Heat Wave, Always and Forever. We had New Edition, Mr. Telephone Man, because, I mean, you I couldn't get through high school without that one. Um, Quiet Wedding by Billy Idol. We had Endless Summer, Summer Nights. Um, let's see, Howard Hewitt, Show Me. Uh, Mama Used to Say by Junior. Sky Call Me. Uh, Christopher Williams, I Talk to Myself, because there is no one to talk to. Those of us under level two fools probably sung that as we were reading that comment. Freddie Jackson, Jam Tonight, um, and then Anything by Phyllis Hyman, uh, Peebo Bryson, and the list goes on. So, what would you add to our 80s mixtape? The next one is uh, a reminder that you could have it worse. Somebody somewhere is quarantined with your ex. Just let that sink in for a minute. Mm. Okay. All right. So here is uh, one of the questions. Um, if you solve this, you're a genius. Mr. Smith had four daughters. Each daughter had a brother. How many children does Mr. Smith have? Gonna read it again. Mr. Smith had four daughters. Each daughter had a brother. How many children does Mr. Smith have? Mr. Smith had four daughters. Each daughter had a brother. How many children does Mr. Smith have? I'll read it again. Mr. Smith had four daughters. Each daughter had a brother. How many children does Mr. Smith have? Mr. Smith had four daughters. Each daughter had a brother. How many children does Mr. Smith have? The answer is zero. Had many past tense as in no more. All right. Um, there was another one with a phone keypad. That was 24 number threes for those of you that are still trying to figure out how many threes there were. Some of them, you'll have to kind of adjust your screen or your phone, but they are water marks. Um, so there were 24. So those of you that are going through my Instagram kind of following along and you're like seeing this 24 post, that's the reason I was posting the answer there. All right. So all of my mathematicians, here is the next one. One rabbit saw six elephants while going to the river. Every elephant saw two monkeys going towards the river. Every monkey holds one parrot in their hands. How many animals are going towards the river? I'm going to read it again. One rabbit saw six elephants while going to the river. Every elephant saw two monkeys going towards the river. Every monkey holds one parrot in their hands. How many animals are going towards the river? One rabbit saw six 
elephants going towards the river. Every elephant saw two monkeys going towards the river. Every monkey holds one parrot in their hand. How many animals are going towards the river? One rabbit saw six elephants while going towards the river. Every elephant saw two monkeys going towards the river. Every monkey holds one parrot in their hands. How many animals are going towards the river? And the answer is five. So those of you that guessed five, you are correct. There are five. All right, here's a riddle for you. A seven letter word containing thousands of letters. I'll give it to you again. A seven letter word containing thousands of letters. A seven letter word containing thousands of letters. What's your guess? A seven letter word containing thousands of letters. A seven letter word containing thousands of letters. A seven letter word containing thousands of letters. Any more guesses? Any other guesses? And the answer is mailbox. All right, here's another riddle for you. A doctor and a bus driver are both in love with the same woman, an attractive girl named Sarah. The bus driver had to go on a long bus trip that would last a week. Before he left, he gave Sarah seven apples. Why? A doctor and a bus driver are both in love with the same woman, an attractive girl named Sarah. The bus driver had to go on a long trip that would last a week. Before he left, he gave Sarah seven apples. Why? Any other guesses? Other guesses? Yep, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. All right, here is another one for you. All right. Mary's father has four children. Their names are Nana, Nene, and Nini. So what's the fourth child's name? Mary's father has four children. Three are named Nana, so N-A-N-A. -A. The second one is N-E-N-E. -N -E. The next one is N-I-N-I. -I. So what is the fourth child's name? <laughs> it's 
sons. <laughs> it is Mary. Remember, Mary, it says four children. She gave her three sisters' names, so she would be the fourth. All right. Here's another one. Feed me and I live, yet give me a drink and I die. Feed me and I live, yet give me a drink and I die. Feed me and I live, yet give me a drink and I die. Feed me and I live, yet give me a drink and I die. Feed me and I live, yet give me a drink and I die. Yep, it's fire. All right, and here's the last one. And then I am going to share my uh, purchases with you. Um, I go in hard. I come out soft. You blow me hard, what am I? I go in hard, I come out soft. You blow me hard, what am I? I go in hard, I come out soft. You blow me hard, what am I? completely PG-13. Y'all are being nasty on Easter Sunday. That's all I'm going to say. Get your mind out the gutter. It's not that kind of party. I don't need any dings against my channel. It is not what y'all are thinking. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I go in hard. I come out soft. You blow me hard. What am I? Y'all are so distracted by y'all dirty minds from being in the house for so long. Y'all have just gone way out in left field. I go in hard. I come out soft. You blow me hard. What am I? I go in hard, I come out soft, you blow me hard, what am I? One last time. I go in hard, I come out soft, you blow me hard, what am I? For those of you that said gum, you are correct. For the rest of you, go watch Little Fires Everywhere because you need a distraction. <laughs> All right. So if you have enjoyed that and you're not on Instagram, that's where the fun stuff um, has been happening over um, to keep us kind of occupied throughout the week. Um, don't know what I'll be doing next week, but it will likely be more of the same because I'm just not super creative at this point. I mean, I'm, you've seen the extent of my creativity. We've had fun over there with it. All right. So if you have watched DJ King, that doggone DJ King, she got me hooked on this, um, accessory piece that has a zillion letters, words in the title. So when ILD back, probably, let me tell you, I can tell you exactly when it was. This was actually, ooh, <laughs> December 30th of last year. Um, they 
on ILB had a few items that just kind of popped up and I was able to snag them and um, yeah so let me just show you the first one is I was looking for dandelion accessories to go with plenty of other things and I was able to pick up the tech top zip pouch in the color dandelion it is going to match bags it is going to match card cases it is going to match um, my doodle pieces it can function as its own little small purse so I picked it up it is a gorgeous color and after having a pretty gloomy wet Easter um, so it reminds me of, of sunshine so this is the first item the second item I was a little leery of the color because I was a bit terrified that it was going to come in looking like the safety cone orange salmon that the medium satchel came in um, so when it popped up in the color tangerine I thought this is probably going to be another color that I am not going to be thrilled about but it's actually very tempered and tame very um I'm gonna call neutral girl not neon girl friendly and it is this one so it is in tangerine it almost could it's like a an orange with like a little bit brown it's not looking um I don't on camera it's not really picking up true color but I will tell you if you have anything from the what collection was it Cambridge collection in the color persimmon it is the color of persimmon it's not it's different from terracotta give me a second because I still have terracotta sitting here. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with her. But completely different from terracotta. Completely different. This is more persimmon. See the difference? Terracotta. This is um, tangerine. Tangerine, terracotta. Tangerine, terracotta. I have a couple of persimmon pieces, but quite honestly, I didn't think about um, what the color was gonna look like until just now. And that I do believe is closer to persimmon. If at some point this week I have a chance to dig it out, I'll post the picture over on um, Instagram. And I'm gonna also try to remember after this live to post pictures of uh, the brook lawn beside the Russell so that you can kind of get a couple more views of that all right the next one I fell in love with the color and I'm gonna send my tribe sister uh, Val to the enabler corner um, she can join DJ King in the enabler corner for the accessory piece purchases but again these are the these are the two um this bag i was torn i wasn't sure if i needed it because i have similar bags i wasn't sure that i was going to be happy with the butt of the bag i was undecided about the shoulder drop i was pissed quite honestly that it didn't have a zipper but there was still a color that I've got a, a few purchases of this color I still need to show y'all what they are but um I just decided I was just gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and join the rest of uh YouTube land in the purchase of a Florentine Ecru Ashton so 
you're going to see tonight really quick. Y'all have seen this, I'm sure, on plenty of other channels. So I just want to see if it's going to work for me. Does have the pocket on the back, feet. She's got a kind of narrow butt, though. It's a little bit over. I think it's right at, is it four and a half or five? But she's got a little bit of length on her. Pocket on the back. Florentine patch on the front. Snap closure across the top, which means she will likely never see the inside of a plane because she's like the double strap tassel bag that I just showed you in terracotta. She doesn't secure on the top. This is the small, Sanja. The um, large, I hadn't made a decision about before all of the good colors disappeared. So I decided that I was going to do this one. I can't remember even now because I've had it since the end of last year. But I checked the dimensions on another bag that I was carrying and these dimensions were similar and that bag worked for me. So I decided I was going to go ahead and pull the trigger mainly because of the color and the dimensions were going to work. I also think that the shoulder drop, we'll see. Because this is that one that the shoulder drop forever was not listed on the site, which irritates me. Um, but let's see. So no issues over my elbow. From a size comparison standpoint let's just um, um, I don't know what I want to compare it to because I didn't think that far in it okay let's do this one I think she's definitely gonna be smaller shoulder drops are definitely smaller same closure. Safiano double tassel in terracotta. Um, terracotta is definitely, and I, I'm trying to get them even, but definitely a little bit taller. Shoulder drop is longer as well. Butts on them. Let's see if the butts are similar. Let's see if I can get them up here. The butt on, ooh, that may not. No, I think the butts are about the same. Let's see if I can get them to balance there, yeah. The butts on them are about the same. I think this one was right at five. And five is kind of the minimum for me, four and a half. I don't think this one is four and a half, because four and a half is the butt on Cooper. And the butt on the Charleston. Four and a half is the butt on the small leisure shopper. And y'all, this week... I just I have a I have a small Charleston in the from the dots collection. Never carried her. Bought a pair, I think I've told y'all this, bought a pair of Clark's wedges, sandal wedges, and I needed a bag. And I the dots matched perfectly with the shoes, so I got it so that I could coordinate, pull things together. Got that bag and I was like, mm -hmm. I don't think that this is going to work for me. Bag has been probably sitting for five years, four or five years. Probably five years. Never carried it. Decided, again, under the advice of that dog on DJ King, that I was going to take everything out of the nylon messenger bag that I'm currently carrying and put it over in the small, in the Charleston. Because Charleston only comes in one size. 
and that if I can get my stuff in there, then of course I should be able to use the small laser. Y'all, I wish I could just plug in a GIF right now in the chat to show y'all the level of frustration I had trying to get my stuff in this doggone bag. I didn't even get finished before I said to hell with it and took my stuff back out of it and put it back in my messenger bag. And I've decided it, I'm going to either sell that bag or somebody in my family will be gifted because I am not going to let my carry cause that level of frustration with the bumps and bruises and the indentions and the uncomfortableness of the items in my bag. I have significantly streamlined my carry and cut down. Now I still have a pretty large catch-all because it's serving as the catch-all, the tech case, and a cosmetic. But other than that, I really don't have a lot in my bag. So for that bag, that little precious little dainty Charleston Dots bag, for it to not even carry a, hold a reduced carry for me, there is, I don't care how many prints, I don't care what they bring it back in, and y'all know I have been pining for an Americana large leisure shopper. If they brought it back in the small, I would still be pining for a large Americana leisure shopper because I cannot make that work. And I took it, at, as quickly as I put my stuff in there and I let a few choice curse words out, I took my stuff right back out and put it in the bag that I knew that it fit in. So definitely larger. I may have to give this one some more consideration over the, um, she just didn't travel well because she didn't have a zipper on the top. So under the seat of the airplane, it was not a pretty sight. Other than that, she's she's good. She just needed a zipper. Um, Davis Tassel Tote, which is the sister to this bag. I could see Ashton being similar to that one, except she has a shorter shoulder drop, but actually does have a zipper top. Rosalind, the strap on um, on this one is fine. It it passes. It passes without, you know, a ton of manipulation to get her up and, and on. Um, comparing her to large Maxine, which has a much larger butt. And y'all know this bag was a frustration for me because she's not large this is a medium size bag for me i'm gonna need like the handbag industry to put together some um some standard sizes that govern when something gets to be called large versus medium or extra large um but i've got a feeling that this was pro it is probably gonna be i would carry this again for business for work whatever because shoulder drop is good has feet, got her wide enough butt, and she zipped. So this was not, it was not a bad carry. It wasn't a terrible carry. But I moved into this, I think, after carrying the Russell. So imagine going from that really big bag, even though it was heavy, and trying to take all of the stuff that I had at that point and then put it in this one. But this one still has a bigger butt than... Ashton. So, shoulder drop. Um, Maxine has a little bit more of a shoulder drop than Ashton. You can definitely see there's no competition with the butts. Height um, is very similar. Similar height. This one is just a little bit more tapered. So it's not going to necessarily sit flat beside this one, but they are similar in height. And then, see, I got a thing for this Ecru. That's because of the, the Val. Length is about the same, if not the same. The only difference is this one 
has a little bit more tapered so it sticks out a little bit more on the side but definitely a bigger butt similar length similar shoulder drop has a zipper so she will travel and it has an outside pocket which this one does as well cell phone i was able to get both phones in this pocket even with the cases on it on them um i thought i had an mcm tote close by to show you a comparison there but i don't and there is absolutely no comparison between this one and the leisure um Russell, Leisure, or Ashton, I'm sorry, not Leisure. I wish I was able to get Russell in that crew. Mm, all I smell is cows <laughs> with all this fluorine in my face. <laughs> Shoulder drop is definitely better on Ashton than on Russell. And again, no comparison in their butts. Right, Rosalind? Moo is exactly right. All I smell is Florida. All right. So let me, let me get the chat. See if I can get the chat pulled up. Let me get out of Facebook. And take a look. Make sure I've spoken to everyone. If you are here, make sure that you please hit the thumbs up. Um, let's see. It looks like it's only going to let me go back to when we were doing the trivia. Uh, phenomenal personality. The terracotta bag is the double tassel tote. Hold on. Let me make sure I call it right. Davis has a little bit shoulder, shorter shoulder drop and has a zipper top. It's the, I'm sorry, double strap tassel bag double strap tassel bag is what the terracotta is all right let me see go back to the chat Regina, I like my color, so I can't answer your question about... Oh, I can tell you what color I don't have. I don't have Kelly Green in Florentine because Peter will not bring it back. So I do not have that color. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, it is the small Ashton closet dive. Um, Regina, I, for a shopping bag tote in leather, like, are you planning to actually use it as a shopping bag? Because I wouldn't use, I wouldn't use Florentine for a shopping bag. I would probably get a Cabriolet Russell and use that if you're talking about a true shopping bag. But if you're just looking for a style, then the Ashton would definitely work. I'm just going through the chat here because it's so hard to pull up on the iPad. Uh, hi, Anj. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Happy Easter. I think I don't see a lot of questions on here. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Bat Crazy. Happy Easter, ladies. Yep. So that's it. I hope that you have an amazing rest of the day. I hope that you will consider coming back, watching um, one of my archive videos or one of the two lives that I uh, filmed and uploaded on yesterday. Um, I hope that you will, before you head out, hit the subscribe and the thumbs up. Um, that you will consider following me on Instagram because there is all kind of happenings going on over there to help us pass the time. Um, so thank you so very much for spending part of your Resurrection Sunday with me. I do not take it lightly. I know that you have family um, and other things that you could be doing with your time, but I do appreciate you coming back over and over again on Sundays to spend just a small portion of your time with me. So um, hug someone that you've been quarantined with. Um, if it is just you, show yourself a little bit of self-love. Um, remember that social distancing is still in effect, and um, by all means, uh, take care. Be well.